Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and these cute meerkats are the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. When I say current, it is now August 1st, 2023, and this pattern is exclusive to the Funny Faces Club all month long. So if you join the club at any time uh, this month, you will get this pattern instantly. If you're already in the club, you should have already received an email with a link to download the pattern. And if you're seeing this, uh, this video anytime after the end of August of 2023, you can look in the shop at shinyhappyworld.com and you'll find it there in with the individual block patterns probably sometime near the end of September. You may be wondering about this little card. That is because somebody has been persistently stealing my designs and they have actually been using my videos to sell their um, stolen copies of my patterns. And so now you're gonna see me pop this little card into the video whenever I remember to do it, just to kind of make it a little bit harder for people to steal my designs. If you're looking where to find it from me, there's a link in the description underneath this video to where you can get this pattern in my shop. Now, here's how to make it. All right, let's make this meerkat. This is the video showing how to do it if you do have a light box. So quickly to show you my light box setup, there's three layers. There's the light box. I've got it turned on and up as bright as it'll go. I've got my placement guide in there, and then I have a clear silicone mat on top. I've got the pieces almost ready to go, so they're all cut out on the solid lines, and I have ignored the dotted lines because that is only necessary if you do not have a light box, except if you want to, um, well, except for two things. One is if you need to, you need definitely, when you don't, it knows there's no if about it, you need to transfer the mouth. And also on the paws, there are little kind of finger lines. And those are stitching lines, not placement guides, so you will need those transferred. And then if you wanted to um, include eyelashes, which I am not doing that, stitching the eyelashes on this one, but if I were stitching the eyelashes, I would need to transfer the eyelash markings onto the face and onto the eye spots. I'm going to not do that this one. All right, now let's put this together. So we're gonna start with piece number one. So the numbers are there to tell you what piece is what, but with the light box, they also tell you what order to lay them down in. So we're gonna start with the bottom of the body, and then we have his belly piece. They have a slightly contrasting belly, but it is not necessarily lighter. It's just kind of a little different shade and texture. So I just used a different shade from the same color family. So all of these are blenders from the Lion. These are the Lion blenders, which is kind of a mustardy gold color. And sometimes meerkats are kind of mustardy gold. So I picked that. So all of these fabrics are tints and shades of the same hue. So they go together really, really well. All right, so that was piece number three was his arms. And now number four is one of his ears. So they have very dark ears. They can be dark brown or very dark gray, depending on if the particular meerkat you're making is in the brown family or in the grayish family. They come in all those kinds of colors, brown, gray, kind of gold, taupe, Okay, so that was four and five. Now six is his face. There that goes. And now seven is his forehead. So they do have a darker forehead. Their faces tend to be light. And then their forehead, the top part of their head is a darker color. So I've done that by putting this kind of widow's peak in there. And then, let's see, number eight is one of his eye patches. And those are very dark. The darkness of them helps to protect their eyes from the bright sun. And then nine is his dark eye spot on the other eye. And 
And then we'll put the eyes on there. So 10 and 11 are the eyes, and they are identical, so it doesn't really matter which one is which. If you have trouble seeing through your pieces, by this point we've got two layers of fabric and the top one is a little bit on the dark side, so the lines of your placement guide might not show through as well. But if you just push it down so that it's actually making all three layers are making contact with each other, those lines will show through much better. There's that. And there we've got his muzzle. And then his nose. So all of the, I was telling you about the colors before, all of the kind of golden colors are from the Lion Blenders, but the browns for his ears and those eye spots, those are from the Grizzly Blenders. So all in the Animal Kingdom color palette that I have, but two different hues that I'm working with. All right, so that is the Meerkat all layered up. Now I'm gonna carefully lift this silicone mat up. I'm gonna carry it over to my ironing board and I'm gonna fuse it in place right on the mat let it cool, and then I'm gonna peel it up and fuse it down to my final block, do all of the outline stitching, and then I will bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you some couple, a couple of other color options that I did. All right, here is the finished Meerkat. This is the version in gray. Meerkats come in shades of gray and brown and kind of a yellowy kind of color. So I did all of those colors and I'll show the rest of those to you in a second, but I did just want to point out, I added some catch lights to his eyes and I do that just with a simple dot of fabric paint. And there's a link in the pattern that shows you um, how to do that and also has a link to my favorite fabric paint and also shows you a couple of sewn ways that you can add catch lights to the eyes. But now let me show you a couple of different colors that I did. Oh, and just a reminder, this is a version with the eyelashes. So the next one I'm gonna show you is without. So here is a yellow, kind of that yellowish version. This uses the Lion Blenders from the Animal, King color pal Animal Kingdom color palette. So this one is the yellowish color, which is what you've seen in the Lion King because uh, Timon is a meerkat. And then I've got one more super fun version for you. So in this version, I did two meerkats because you hardly ever see a meerkat just by itself. They always live in pretty large groups and then one will be standing off, standing guard in different places around their territory, but you usually see them in groups. And so for this one, I put them together in two of them in a block and they will just fit if you nestle one of them a little bit underneath. So, so this one is tucked into the little bit of V of space created by his head and then I just chopped off the bottom part of that so that it's still nicely framed in the block. So that is another fun option for you to do. In this one, I decided to do one with the eyelashes and one with the without. So that's it, how you make the meerkat block, which is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. I'm Wendy Gratz from Shiny Happy World, and I'll see you next month.